Well, Robin, on Sunday morning, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau will walk across the grounds at Rideau Hall to ask Mary Simon, the new Governor General, to dissolve Parliament, triggering the 2021 federal election. Constitutional experts say that the Governor General will grant Trudeau's request. That's because there has not been an election in recent months and no other party is trying to form government. The campaign will be 36 days, the shortest time allowed under federal law. That puts Election Day on Monday, September 20th. And while this is a snap election, it's hardly a surprise. The Prime Minister had openly stated 2021 would be an election year, even while denying that it would be his party that would trigger Canadians going to the polls. The Prime Minister's decision to launch a campaign means he has decided now is the Liberals' best chance of getting a majority. Justin Trudeau had to run a political calculation here. Go now and risk voters' rights for triggering an election in a fourth wave and when COVID-19 numbers are growing, but the Liberals have good and not great numbers, or wait and potentially lose control of the narrative, handing timing of the election to the opposition and running the risk of the public mood and economy souring. The Liberals will likely frame this campaign as needing to seek a mandate from Canadians to spend more money and manage the challenges that they will argue were unforeseen in a pre-pandemic world. Is there any sense, Mercedes, that uh, what the Liberals will focus on? And is everyone on board in that party with calling an election? So while we haven't seen the Liberal platform, we can take a few things that we know from recent spending announcements, the spring budget, and the decision to go to an election now. Child care and social programs will likely feature prominently, but the ballot box question the Liberals want is who Canadians trust to govern through the pandemic and an endorsement for their pandemic recovery plans. Typically, going to the polls during a time of crisis favours the incumbent, but some senior Liberals are worried about potential voter blowback. This will be a hard-fought hard election no matter what, Robin, with about a dozen key ridings where only one to two points could decide races. Getting out the vote will matter, but starting on Sunday, the Prime Minister will have to answer the question of why this is in Canadians' interests and not just the Liberal Party's. Robin? Mercedes Stevenson in Ottawa. Thanks, Mercedes. Despite mounting fears about the impact of a fourth wave, Canada's top doctor is confident a federal election is safe. Um, there's a lot that's been learned about how to make uh, these kind of uh, uh, voting spaces, if you like, uh, safe. Elections Canada has been preparing for this possibility for months. Natasha Gauthier told Global News part of its top priority is to deliver an election that is as safe as possible for voters for Election Canada's staff, for poll workers. Adopting public health measures such as providing workers with personal protective equipment, masks and face shields, implementing social distancing guidelines, using plastic barriers and one volunteer per table, and there will also be hourly cleaning. For voters, there will be hand sanitization stations and a fresh new miniature pencil for each person, about 16 million of them. But mask requirements will vary province to province. Infectious disease specialist Anna Banerjee says in Alberta, which has eased all COVID-19 restrictions, in-person voting stations could lead to super spreader events. Unless we're ready to put back the public health measures in place, and uh, I think that it, it, there could be more transmission of covid as a result of, of the election. Then there's the issue of where to place polling stations. Ontario seems torn. While Manitoba's premier said schools will be off limits in his province, Dr. Banerjee agrees. Right now we're trying to bring this, the kids back in school. Do we want a whole bunch of uh, adults being in the school uh, during a fourth wave? Experts say mail-in ballots may become the safest and most popular option. Elections Canada anticipates 5 million people will vote this way versus just 54,000 in 2019. We may not know the, the final results of the election on election night. In Newfoundland and Labrador, spring vote counting mail-in ballots led to results being delayed days. How y'all doing? Finally, candidates will also have to get used to new forms of canvassing. In St. John's Thursday, NDP leader Jagmeet Singh highlighted what experts hope COVID campaigning won't look like. Maskless, while making close contact with groups of people. Instead, parties will need to find new ways to win over voters, ones that keep everyone safe. Jimmy Marocker, Global News, Toronto.